The statue of Edward Colston, the 17th century slave trader, was removed from Bristol Harbour by the council this morning, where it had been thrown in by Black Lives Matter protests at the weekend. After being restored, the statue will be placed in a museum with placards from the protest for future generations. The mayor of Bristol, Marvin Rees, will be bringing together a team of historians and academics to research and share a true version of the city's varied heritage to inform decisions about its future. Our challenge now as a city leadership is to hold those different experiences of Bristol together and, and make sure that um, for those that are celebrating, for those that are in fear and for those that are really angered by it, we are a city that holds, that is able to hold those experiences together and try to find um, some common ground. But what do the Bristolians I spoke to think should happen next for the space now that the statue is gone? Can't we have a statue of a successful black man from Bristol? Someone, someone who did something first from Bristol that was, you know, of, of some, some, some black heritage. That, that would be an amazing thing. You know, that would mark a change that, you know, a statue has been replaced with someone of, of, you know, our culture and they're up there, you know. Such a worldwide trend has been started of removing these statues. I don't feel they're the right way to go. With Bristol being such a progressive city, full of culture, and especially where it is being, being in the harbour side, a, like main tourist attraction, I feel that it'd be an opportunity missed not to commission art pieces, maybe on a yearly basis, projects a message that is current to the city and what is important to the people. To change the future, you cannot forget the past. I believe like, you know, if you forget history, history will re repeat itself.